This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, uh, in WebDriver IO series, today I'm going to cover how to configure your script with different environments. Because your script will remain same, but your environment URLs will be different, right? So this is a problem generally we face. So what I'm talking about, let's see, this is the dev environment, this is the QA environment, this is a stage environment, and let's see, this is a production environment. And I'm working on, let's see, with Amazon.com. So on Amazon.com, on dev environment, this is my, right, this is my dev environment. Amazon.com URL will be something like this, Amazon.dev.com, something like this, right? On QA environment, we have Amazon.QA.com. On stage environment, we have Amazon.stage.com. And then finally, we have prod. On prod, we have this Amazon.com. So the URL will be different. So sometimes you have to execute your test cases on, let's see, on dev environment. Sometimes you have to execute your test case on QA and stage also. So that time the URL will be different, right? Here the URL will be different. So how do you do it? It's not like again and again, I have to, you know, go to my script and then change the URL. <clears throat> if I'm running on QA environment, my build is available over here, right? My QA build is available over here. I have to execute on QA environment. So automatically it should pick, okay, that the URL which is given for the QA environment, the URL which is configured for the stage environment, same thing for dev environment. Tomorrow you want to execute on production, you can simply say that, okay, hey, this is my production environment. So how will you do this configuration in WebDriver IO? Right, this is a common problem. In Maven, we can pass the environment variable. Same thing, we can pass the environment variable. So what exactly we will do? At the runtime, we will pass one environment variable is equal to, let's say environment variable is equal to QA. It means if environment variable is equal to QA, then I'll pass npm run test environment equal to QA then the QA URL will be picked. So I'll have to write the logic in such a way that the moment I pass this particular environment variable, either QA or stage or prod or dev, automatically, according to that, your URL should be picked up, right? So let's see how to configure this thing. So let me erase this uh, drawing and uh, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, uh, at the project level, guys, I'm gonna create a file over here. Okay, so at the project level, I'll create a new file. The file name that I'm giving urls.js file, right? At the project level, and here I'm going to give that uh, let's see, module dot exports is equal to curly bracket open, and I'm giving some environment uh, URLs over here. Let's see, on my QA environment, the URL should be let's see, uh, HTTP colon www.google.com. Let's assume that, okay, right now, I cannot show you that, okay, amazon.dev.com or qa.com. So let's see, I'll pick three different or four different URLs. Same thing, let's see, I have a dev environment. On dev environment, let's see, I say that, okay, hey, if it is dev you are passing, you have to open www. Uh, let's see, uh, amazon.com. Like this. If it is a stage environment, in that case, for a stage environment, what you have to do? In a stage environment, you have to pass, let's see, http colon www.facebook.com. And SCL pick one prod also. If you're using prod, then it should be, let's see, http colon www. <coughs> uh, whatever, let's see, I'll write simple redifmail.com right so assume that okay we will see i hope you can understand i cannot show you the exact environments because this is uh, this is the open script right i cannot show you that uh, amazon.dev.com because i don't have access on that so let's assume that okay four different urls are there and these are the four different variables are there at the project level i will be creating it now what I'm gonna do that I'll go to my config.js. So here in the configuration, what I'm gonna do that I'm going to import that particular URL.js that what we have written over there. 
So how will you import? I simply create one constant over here, one constant URL is equal to that I require. What do you require? Because we have we created one file that is called URLs. Okay, so like this URL. So this URL file I'll be storing in this particular URL. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one environment variable. env is equal to, guys, we have process environment. The moment we start the node package or execution, this process variable will be activated. And then you can simply get what is your environment and then env. Okay, so it will tell you what exactly the, at the runtime environment is going on. And then I'll put a condition over here that, okay, if right if so two or conditions i'll be writing if not env it means let's say environment is not there someone has not given the environment or someone has given the environment but it's not available under in this qa comma dev comma and stage comma and prod like this it means i have four different very uh, environments so if something let's see from the command line if i'm not giving anything over here that's why i'm giving not over here it means a dot includes includes what if it is includes env whatever that env that you are passing it means let's see qa is available assume that again passing qa so this condition will be satisfied but this not will make it false. Same thing, environment is equal to QA. So this is also false. So if both are false, then I don't want to come inside. But let's say I'm passing the wrong environment, right? So wrong environment, let's say I'm passing the blank environment. So it will be blank environment is right true. And then let's see, I'm passing nothing. So environment value is not correct. So in that case, it will come inside the if condition because QA does not include over here. So let's say environment variable is nothing. I'm passing nothing, right, blank. So in that case, this condition will be not satisfied, will not be satisfied, but this not will make it true. So the moment we make it true, it will come inside the if part. And then I simply say that, okay, I print a message over here, that okay, console.log, that please, please use, please pass the, Correct, okay. correct environment value in this particular format. So I simply say that okay, E and V. Either you can pass whatever QA, okay, QA slash uh, pipe dev pipe. Let's see, I'll pass <coughs> stage and prod like this. Right, so if this is something this, it means if I'm passing the wrong environment, you simply print this particular message to the user that you are not passing the right environment, and then I simply write process dot exit method is there. Exit the process. It means don't execute my test cases. So let's say someone is passing QA. It means this environment variable is QA is passing. It means this is true, but this is make it false, no issues. But this QA includes QA because I'm passing environment as QA, right? So if it is available, then in that case, this is also true, but this not will make it false. So it will not exit the process and then it will execute, will execute the UR, okay? The test cases over there properly, right? Now, one more thing what we have to do, we have to scroll down and we have to change the base URL. There is base URL, where I have written, yeah, here. So what I'm gonna do, let me comment this. I'll write my base URL, right? Colon. The base URL that I'll pick from the URL, from the constant variable that I've already taken, I've already imported. So from this particular URL, what I'm gonna do that from this URL, you simply write process dot env dot env. Okay, it means give me the environment variable process, whatever that you are passing as an environment variable and put a comma over here. 
right now what i'm going to do that uh, i'll do one thing i'll just create a package so let's see inside my test folder elements over here i'll move my elements let's see or let it be like this or i'll do one thing uh under this particular elements i'll be creating one more test script over here so i simply write let's see url dot test dot js i'll be writing this particular file and i quickly randomly write one test case so let's see i'll just copy this guy and i simply write one test over here and uh, <clears throat> forget about this i simply try to launch the url so just remove this thing i simply say that okay here, launch the base url and uh, this is my it block is getting ended okay and this is my describe block getting ended so one it block let's see i have written now i'll try to execute this and i say that okay hey browser.url it means pass the base url so whatever the base url is there okay it will be picked from here and uh, this is the let's see first single test i'm writing just to showcase you guys that okay hey it's launching the respective url or not i'll go to my console and then i'll try to execute this particular test so how will i execute i simply write npm test hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen spec okay space dot uh, test then we have elements after test we have elements and then this particular file so i simply write url dot test dot js okay so if you are not passing any environment variables so the moment i run it it's simply saying that okay hey please pass the correct environment variable right whatever that we have written see please pass the correct okay please pass the correct environment variable you can see that because we are not passing the environment variable now your environment variable is blank so how to do this so what i'm going to do i simply write that env is equal to qa environment variable is equal to qa then npm test hyphen 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 spec go to test folder elements and then url test.js so we have to pass the environment qa like this env equal to qa just like we have we have in name and we have minus d okay we used to do that same thing we have to pass env equal to qa and then you simply run it now you see that okay yes the script is running browser is getting launched and according to you can see google got launched and you see that okay for environment equal to qa this is what i have set up if the environment is equal to qa please launch google.com right now let's try with some other now i'm passing uh i'm passing qa i'll pass a dev now for dev it should launch amazon.com so let's run it so now you see see amazon.com perfect browser got closed now let's try with directly with the stage so i simply write with the stage now For a stage, Facebook.com should be launched. Perfect. See, Facebook.com should be launched, and then I'll try with prod. Someone wants to launch in in the prod, so I simply say that env is equal to prod environment. So for prod, redifmail.com should be open. See, redifmail.com. Perfect. Right, guys. So this is how we can exactly. Okay, let me just terminate. You can change the URL accordingly. So tomorrow, let's say you're working with your company, and your company you want to execute on dev environment. Your script will remain same, but <clears throat> the configuration will be different. Your URL will be different. So this is a smart way of converting or maintaining the URLs like that, right? So same thing will happen when we integrate with uh, Jenkins or something. We can pass the same environment variable as an npm command that you can pass. And Jenkins also will pick it the same environment variable like this according to the URL. Perfect. So this is a really cool feature that I've shown you. Please implement it in your framework and let me know if you have any issues with that. Thank you so much, guys.
and uh, I've already uploaded the entire script, whatever we have covered in this particular series on my Git repo. So I'll provide the link inside the Git repo. I mean, in the description of this particular video. You just go there and you can have, you can clone the repository as well. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video.